Qualcomm looking to advance its AI play. The company is set to power Microsoft's next generation of Windows PCs with its AI chips. That announcement coming today at that Microsoft event that our Dan Halley told us about earlier. Joining us now to discuss Qualcomm Chief Financial Officer and Chief Operating Officer Akash Pokiwala. Akash, it's great to see you again. Thanks for being here. Great being here, Julie. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. I'm excited to, to get my eyes on these new um, PCs and to test them out. Uh, what are the Snapdragon chips that are going into these PCs? What kind of capabilities are we going to see from this new generation? Yeah, so first of all, we're very excited about the announcement today. Microsoft talked about the next generation of PCs with Copilot Plus bringing in some incredible AI ex experiences uh, for the consumers into the devices. And so we're great, uh, greatly looking forward to those devices being launched. Um, what Qualcomm brings to the device is a specific chip that we've built for this purpose. It's called the Snapdragon X Elite chip, and it shows three key new areas. The first one is uh, the best-in-class processing exceeding all other um, all other PCs in terms of performance. The second is very, very good battery life. It shows very long battery life, uh, several times extend, extending greater than 20 hours. And this is not something that uh, PCs have had before. And then the third is this incredible set of AI experiences that Microsoft outlined today that uh, for the foreseeable future are only available on Qualcomm Snapdragon X Elite devices. We announced more than 20 devices that are all enabled by our chip that uh, will be uh, soon uh, be available for uh, consumers to buy. And you know, we have been talking a lot about the just vast demand that we are seeing for all of these types of AI chips from you and your competitors. There was a comment today from one of the Microsoft executives that the company expects over 50 million AI PCs will be bought over the next year. What does this mean for Qualcomm's sales and bottom line, that kind of demand? Yeah, I think it's an incredible opportunity for us. We're uniquely positioned to be the primary beneficiary of uh, of that growth in AI PCs, and we have a chip that significantly uh, out contributes any of our competitors. So we're looking forward to it. We think the PC is in the first innings of this uh, new uh, new generation, the new form factors, the new performance vectors, and Qualcomm is the one making it happen along with Microsoft. Akash, can you give me any numbers around it about what, what contribution you're going to see perhaps to sales this year? I think we're at the front end of a very long run for the company. This is a massive silicon market, and it's not often in our generation that you get to enter a new market like this that is at this scale with a unique performance advantage product that is leadership, and it, it's going to be sustained leadership for a long period of time. So we're looking forward to it. And on a similar front, you talked about your offerings versus your competitors. So if we're expecting this kind of growth in the PC market, um, what kind of market share do you expect to take, say, from the Intels and AMDs of the world who also make chips that power PCs? Yeah, I, I think the way you should think about it is the market transition is happening and Qualcomm is positioned to be the leader in the new PC. And, and that really you can kind of extrapolate that into a different set of numbers and we'll see how it plays out. But I really do think we have the best product in the market and, uh, and we have this opportunity to be a leader in a new market beyond what we've already done in, uh, in smartphones and in automotive, in XR and in other areas. Well, and speaking of the, all the areas that you're in, Akash, you know, I got I to gotta admit to you, we talk about NVIDIA a lot on this show, right? It's of high interest to investors. Um, how should we be thinking about the chip universe right now? When people are so focused on NVIDIA, how should they be thinking about a Qualcomm and its role in this whole AI revolution? Yeah, I think that's a great question. If you think about AI, it took off in the cloud first. And as you know, we don't have uh, much of a presence on the cloud side, but we are the clear leader on device. And what we're seeing happening, and, and the event today from Microsoft was really the beginning of that change, is that we're going to see the migration of AI from the cloud, in addition to the cloud, to happen on the device as well. And, and the PC is just the first device where Qualcomm is enabling it and we see we get to see the benefit of it, but you're going to see it happen across phones, tablets, automotive, industrial devices, and Qualcomm will be enabling it across all of these things. And, and the way to think about uh, on-device AI 
is really, it is something that enables use cases that cannot happen in the cloud because it has privacy benefits, security benefits, it has latency benefits, and it has a very significant cost benefit because once you buy the device, uh, the compute capability is already available on the device and you can run use cases really for free on an incremental basis. And, and Qualcomm's uniquely positioned to make that happen. And that's uh, that's why this is incredibly exciting and it's, it's the beginning of a new chapter for us. Akash, great to see you. Thanks for joining us. Great to see you as well. Thank you very much.